Hi friends. All right, this project, we're gonna make two different Calder inspired sculptures. So Calder is an artist. He liked bold colors and he worked in a variety of things. Some things he made um, are mobiles and you'll see some of those like in the National Gallery of Art in the Modern Art Wing. There's a huge one hanging from the ceiling. Um, he's made things with wire and he's also made big metal sculptures that you will find out in public. So today we're going to make ones made out of paper. So this one, let's do this one first. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to put a couple of my papers aside. You're just going to need scissors and some paper, like cardstock type paper. It's a little bit heavier than copy paper. So this is one that I made and it's just, if you could imagine, I cut out the shape, right? And then I folded it in half and I cut these inside pieces and then I folded them opposite directions. So they're alternating and then it stands up and you can have fun with this. So let's just make one really quick. Actually, let's just, we'll start off by folding it. And then this is going to, by folding it, it's going to make everything symmetrical, right? So let's make this one spiky in different directions. Okay, so when we open it up, it kind of looks like that. And then the inside, now these ones I made perfectly smooth. Let's say this one, I go jiggity jaggedy. And you want to stop before you get to the center. So I'm leaving a little bit all the way down for my center piece so they stay connected. All right, then this one, let's do another one. And another one. Let's do one more. Okay, let's open this up. And then I'm gonna fold this one this way but this side, I'm gonna fold it back. And then this one, I'm gonna alternate. So I want that one folded back and this one folded forward. Then this one folded forward and this one folded back. And this one folded back and this one folded forward. Simple as that. Hmm? And you can doctor it, like you can have fun, you can make it your own. So if you wanted to take, you know, I don't know, these dots are kind of fun. Like if I wanted to put these dots on here, sticker dots, I can have fun with that, right? What if I just wanted to kind of make it look kind of polka dotty? Let's do this one over here. Isn't that kind of fun? I kind of like that. Where am I missing? I'm missing one maybe on this side. And... Maybe here. I don't know. It's kind of fun. I like it. So there's that type of Calder inspired. You can make a couple of different ones. So we're going to set those aside. That was one of ours. And then this one, we're going to, I kind of was having fun with making this one kind of like a, a cactus and it's just taking shapes you don't have to make a cactus or anything in particular 
And, but the, um, the challenge with this one and what helps get your brain really thinking is how to make it balance. So let's start, you can mix up your colors, you can do different shapes, it doesn't have to be anything in particular, it can just be for fun. So let's just start off by cutting some shapes. Let's not waste any of our paper. We can make some of ours a little bit smaller. Let's do some different colors. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's do some orange. Blue and orange are contrasting colors. They like pop out at you. It's kind of fun. So these are what we call organic shapes, right? They're not geometric shapes. They're just, they're not perfect circles. It's not a square or a triangle or a rhombus or whatever. They're just different organic shapes. And then we're going to cut and cut and we're just gonna start building and you want them to fit together because they lock they kind of lock when they do that okay and you kind of see how it sits and then you just keep building so maybe I want to add this guy here and we're gonna interlock these guys so maybe that's my base. Let's add, and I guarantee you it's gonna change over time because as you add things, the balance changes. And so like with all things Calder, whether it's his mobile or his sculptures, we're exploring this concept of balance. Let's put this guy right on top. And let's build this one up here. And you'll notice some things work and some things don't. And maybe if you change which way they go, they work a little better than other ways. It's all about problem solving on these guys. So maybe I wanna add, oh, I like that. There we go. Let's see if I can add this guy. There we go. I like that, that's a lot of fun. Now you can try to see how tall you can make one. You can see um, if you can get it to balance in different ways. You can try changing the direction that it is. You can do all kinds of stuff. And I just did single cuts. You can try doing it with like you can put one here and do two cuts where it's connected across two different pieces. That's helpful if you have a piece that keeps moving on you and not staying in place. But there you go. There's two different Calder-inspired sculptures that are really fun.